To encourage budding young engineers, the IET ran a competition to engineer a chocolate bar of the future. Our reporter went to the Cadbury factory in Birmingham to meet the lucky winner and follow the creation of their design. When we think about careers in engineering, we probably think about building bridges or making trains and cars. But do you ever think about making chocolate? Thanks to an innovative competition from the Institution of Engineering and Technology and Mondelez, young people around the UK were able to get a different taste of the sector, thanks to hashtag I See More, part of the Engineer a Better World campaign. We set up the campaign to really inspire parents, uh, to encourage their children, particularly parents of girls, um, to consider careers in engineering. There is a great perception that engineering is all about hard hats and grubby overalls and that really isn't the case at all. Uh, engineering is behind absolutely everything around us uh, and the idea behind the competition was to inspire young kids to see the engineering behind the creation of chocolate bars. And the lucky winner was 16 year old Catherine Young from Clackmannanshire in Scotland. It came from my Twitter account and um, I clicked on it because chocolate <laughs> in engineering sounds like a great combination. Catherine came up with a chocolate bar called Rocket Fuel and designed everything from the recipe itself to the packaging and the graphics, paying close attention to the importance of engineering, such as the use of 3D moulds. And Catherine was invited to Cabris to see her winning design come to life. Her graphic design was brilliant. You could really picture the product, and I think that's why it's come through so well today. Um, but also, it, there was the creativity in it. It was really quite novel versus some of the others, but generally the entrants were amazing. Well, obviously looking for something that stood out that was different, and I think the, the vivid colours in this one made it stand out. One of the judges involved in making the final decision was an inspired choice. Engineer by day and Bake Off star by night. I'm all about showing the creative side of engineering as well. Quite often there is this perception that engineering is just all about numbers or being behind a desk, but competitions like this really show that it's creative as well and it, we need people that think in all sorts of different ways, uh, especially young people. And Catherine certainly ticked that box, impressing the judges with all areas of her creation. It was tough. I was just, it was a shame I didn't have samples of all of them to try as well because they all looked so delicious. Uh, honestly, the standard was really high. What I was especially looking for was was the engineering angle, so not just something that looked great, but um, that the entrants had thought about how they could manufacture the bar, what would the packaging look like, how were they actually going to put the different bits together. Catherine's entry really stood out. She'd really kind of sold the vision uh, with the drawing that she'd done as well, which we, we can see behind us. Wonderful drawing that's been brought to life today. Uh, but for me, it was all about the engineering and she'd thought it through from start to finish. It was amazing and having the idea come to life is just incredible. Engineering is all about nurturing young people's curiosity about you know, products that they use every single day, whether that's toys um, through to, you know, phones, technology, uh, and really see how they're created. I'm hoping this uh, makes children understand a bit more about engineering, particularly how it's involved in everyday things. Uh, so everything from food to the soap or the shower gel or uh, toothpaste that they might have used this morning. So, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's really important to get uh, children to understand this breadth of, of engineering that there is. I think it would be a great way for young people to get interested in engineering because it's so much more to what people think it is. There's a huge lack of girls in engineering and I thought it was quite important to get involved and help kind of break the stereotype of girls not really doing engineering. Mm -hmm.